In February 1959, nine ski hikers embarked on a fateful journey in Russia's remote Ural Mountains. They were a group of experienced and adventurous young hikers, ready to conquer the challenging terrain. They set up camp on a snowy slope, enjoyed a hearty dinner, and prepared for a well-deserved night's rest. Little did they know that this night would become the stuff of legends. As the night settled in, the group must have felt a sense of accomplishment. Their journey had brought them to a picturesque landscape, and their spirits were high. But then, something went terribly wrong. The group never returned from their expedition. On February 26, searchers found their abandoned tent, torn open from the inside. As if the hikers had fled in terror, surrounding the area were footprints left by the group, some wearing socks, some with a single shoe, and some barefoot. These tracks led to the edge of a nearby wood. Here, the first two bodies were found, shockingly shoeless and wearing only underwear. The scene bore eerie signs of death by hypothermia, but as medical examiners examined the bodies and the seven others discovered in the subsequent months, hypothermia alone couldn't explain the mysteries that unfolded. One body displayed evidence of blunt force trauma, suggesting a brutal assault Another bore third-degree burns, hinting at a bizarre cause of death. One had vomited blood, while another was missing its tongue, and some of their clothing was inexplicably radioactive. The perplexing array of injuries and conditions defied easy explanation. Theories about what had transpired in those unforgiving mountains ranged from the sinister to the supernatural. Some suggested KGB interference, perhaps a run-in with covert government agents, Others speculated about drug overdose, a fateful encounter with extraterrestrial beings, or even gravitational anomalies in the region. There were even whispers of the existence of a Russian Yeti, a creature lurking in the wilderness. More recently, a documentary filmmaker presented a chilling theory involving a terrifying but real phenomenon called infrasound. This phenomenon occurs when the wind interacts with the topography to create a nearly inaudible hum. While you might not consciously hear it, it can have a profound impact on the human body, inducing powerful feelings of nausea, panic, dread, chills, nervousness, elevated heart rates, and breathing difficulties. Could this subtle yet overwhelming force have driven the hikers to madness? In December 2016, a series of mysterious incidents unfolded at the American Embassy in Havana. A CIA officer checked into the embassy's health office, suffering from nausea, headache, and dizziness. Days later, two more CIA officers reported similar ailments. By late 2018, the count grew to 26 Americans and 13 Canadians, all experiencing a range of symptoms, including nausea, hearing loss, vertigo, nosebleeds, and focus issues. What was particularly perplexing was that all of them claimed that the symptoms were triggered by an unusual noise they had heard in their homes or hotel rooms. Descriptions of the noise varied from high-pitched whines to a beam of sound, seemingly pointed directly into their rooms. Some even likened it to the sound of marbles rolling along the floor. Medical experts were confounded. While some victims displayed symptoms resembling concussions, there was no concrete evidence of actual concussions. The mysterious sonic attacks left both the victims and investigators scratching their heads. Speculations and suspicions naturally turned toward the Cuban government, but they vehemently denied involvement, and many American investigators believed them. The perplexing part was that they still didn't know who or what was responsible for making the victims sick. Was it a new type of weapon, an insidious tool of espionage? The CIA claimed ignorance about any weaponry capable of causing these symptoms. Another theory emerged, suggesting that a pair of covered eavesdropping devices placed too close to each other by Cuban agents might have inadvertently triggered a reaction similar to microphone feedback. However, the FBI found no evidence supporting this theory, as ultrasound, which some suspected, falls beyond the range of human hearing. Some speculated that the high-stress environment of diplomatic posts like Cuba, with its constant surveillance and listening devices, might have induced a heightened state of stress and threat anticipation among diplomats. 
potentially contributing to their symptoms. Yet, the mystery deepened when a similar incident occurred in Guangzhou, China, in May 2018. An American posted at the consulate was diagnosed with the same unexplained illness. Eventually, 15 Americans were evacuated, and the cause remained a baffling enigma. While the seemingly airborne cause of these perplexing brain injuries remains a mystery, the consequences are unmistakable. The United States removed 60% of its diplomats from Cuba and expelled 15 Cuban diplomats from Washington, D.C. The mysterious sounds may well be the opening shots in a new kind of Cold War, one characterized by obscure and unsettling phenomena that defy easy explanation.